G'day everybody, how you going today? It is so good to see you. Yes, super exciting news. It feels like Nikon may well have dropped the most amazing lens they've ever made so far. Plus, they may well have, I think, by the sounds of it, by the look of it, by what I'm reading, have delivered us a new focusing technology. Now, I've read the paragraph, I've tried to understand it, I somewhat understand it, but from what it says, we are getting the most advanced focusing system and focusing motors ever in a Nikon and perhaps ever, ever. Let's talk about the new Nikkor 400mm 2.8 VRS with the built-in 1.4 teleconverter. Yes, indeed. Well, this is breaking news. This is a very exciting lens. This is the sort of lens people were saying, those ones that like to rattle their sabers. If Nikon can't produce a pro lens to go with the Pro Z9, then geez, it's the end of the universe. Well, not only have they given us the 100 to 400 and it's here and it's in people's hands and they say that it rocks, not only have they announced, I think, a 400 PF and an 800 PF, definitely the 800 PF has been development announced and the 400 PF certainly looks like a PF. So I'm going to call it a PF in this episode, but now we have a lens like this. Now, having used a 402.8, I've used the F-mount edition, which is an absolutely stellar, outstanding lens. And it sounds like this one is next level. Not only have they put new focusing technology in there using a new type of motor, but it also looks like there's a technology in there that monitors what the lens is up to and then reacts to it. Uh, I think that's what I've read. I, don't fully understand it. And they've come up with some new coatings. This lens is packed with powerhouse technology and brand new technologies for Nikon. Now, I'm sure we're about to get flooded with 20 or 30 videos from around the world of people who have actually used this lens. And I cannot wait to see what a powerhouse it is. And if all these words and all this technology that I've been reading about on the press release, well, is it actually there in the hardware? So in this video, we're quickly gonna celebrate the fact that this lens is here. It's gonna be coupled perfectly with the Z9 and I'm sure it'll work amazingly with your Z6s and your Z7s, any Z. That's the thing about the Z system. Everything works with everything. How good is that? We'll go through some of the specs. All right, let's enjoy this together. So to begin with, of course, not only is this a 400mm 2.8, which is already ridiculously exciting for a lens that's this long, but it does have the built-in 1.4 teleconverter, which pushes it out to 560 millimeters. Now, of course, for those that might want to shoot in a cropped mode in DX slash APS-C, if you, for example, are shooting stills, you can get around 20 megapixels and you're out at 800 and 40 millimeters. Now this is a whopping amount of reach from this one lens. Now you are at f4 once you go to 560 and then you throw that into APS-C mode, but f4 is still pretty spectacular. Now the next thing I wanted to talk about is the size and the weight of this lens. It is 2.95 kilograms or 6.5 pounds, which I think is a is pretty light for a lens of this caliber. And lengthwise, it is 38 centimeters or 15 inches. And again, for a lens of this reach, I think it's nice and compact and reasonably weighted. And another thing about weight and balance is the center of gravity is actually found on the tripod collar. So that makes it absolutely perfect for hand holding. Now here's where it gets really interesting. This lens has what they are calling Silky Swift voice coil motors in it. Silky Swift voice coil motors. Let me read what Nikon have said about the new 
autofocus system. For the first time in any Nikkor Z lens, the Nikkor Z400 has adopted a new innovative technology, including a silky swift voice coil motor as an AF drive motor, along with an optical absolute encoder that detects with high precision, enabling you to simultaneously capture fast moving action with unparalleled speed, accuracy, and with quiet operation. Now, of course, with a Nikon lens with a price tag here in Australia, it is $23,000 in US dollars. There it is there. Yes, it has the high degree of dust and drip resistance that we would expect. And I want to talk about the new Meso. Is it Meso? Meso? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. The new Meso amorphous coating along with the Arneo coat. Uh, Nikon is saying it's delivering the highest performance under any lighting conditions and that this new coating is revolutionary. And together what they're doing is minimizing flare and ghosting to give you the absolutely sharpest image. So here is this new technology, this new coating that they've created. And so we get when we get to the bottom of the specification page, we get all of the technologies that are in this lens. And there's some further information about what they call the Silky Swift VCM focus motor. I'm going to read that to you because I think this is super exciting. The Silky Swift voice coil motor is a new AF drive actuator that combines a voice coil motor and a new guide mechanism developed by Nikon. The guide mechanism incorporates guide parts between the lens chamber and where the guide bar touches to minimize gaps to the limit, effectively eliminating vibration within the AF drive. Utilizing advantageous features such as this, the superb AF drive system simultaneously delivers higher speed, higher accuracy and quieter AF operation, realizing un unprecedented AF performance. Now this is what Nikon are saying and well from what we've heard not only is it unprecedented in the Nikon range but it is unprecedented in anybody's range. And also this new drive mechanism allows for this lens even so it's driving all of these large elements to be near on silent. Not quite but near on silent. And let's talk about the Meso or Meso amorphous coat. With this coating system, amorphous particles are interconnected and overlapped randomly to create a large number of air gaps. <laughs> not meso mesopause, not metaphors, but mesopause. The many gaps within the coating form an ultra fine mesoporous structure, attaining an outstanding low refractive index. Additionally, a higher precision base coat is employed to further enhance the anti-reflection effect. It sounds like there's some crazy technology in here and I wonder if this is related to the other technology they have talked about in creating very fine ripples, the, the shark skin technology. I wonder if it's got anything to do with that shark skin technology they've been talking about for propeller blades and making them all uh, more efficient. Perhaps not. Who knows? It's also got SR, which is short wave refractive lens. SR is a high and specialized dispersion glass lens that ref refracts <laughs> that refracts light with wavelengths shorter than, than that of blue. By controlling short wavelength light, the lens is able to achieve highly precise chromatic aberration compensation so that the colors of your image are more accurately reproduced. It also allows for more flexible optical designs, which allows for compact, lighter lenses to be designed. So again, this coating, this, uh, it's a bit of magic. I have, I have a feeling we've seen the SR before, but I think it's relatively new. There's a lot of exciting new technology in this lens. It is bright with its large apertures, it's long with its 400mm, it's 560mm, it's 840mm at DX. It's not that large and it's not that heavy and it looks like it's got perhaps the best focusing system that we've ever seen in any lens. 
I cannot wait for you and I and all of us to get a chance to play with what I would call a Ferrari of lenses. I can't wait. And I really look forward to hearing what everybody else out there in the universe has already experienced with this lens. I will put up a poll, yes or no, are you going to get this lens? I'm just really interested in how many people would actually fork out this much cash for this lens. I totally think it's worth it, it's just a lot of money. So I'm just kind of interested in how many might sell around the world because, you know, I'm a little bit interested and I might have to start saving up my pennies. Oh my lordy. All right, please let me know in the comments below as well as with the poll, which will have a link below. What are you gonna do? Is this lens for you? And even if you couldn't afford it, would you get this lens, as in theoretically? And even if you couldn't afford it, would you like this lens? All right, it's been so good to see you. If this is your first time here, I'd love to see you again. So please do subscribe, please share, and please like and buy from this newsflash.